Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from new presentation of cooking with timed recipes of 1924, we're going to be making the American cheese and mint sandwich. Now, a lot of folks have comments and questions when I make anything with American cheese, and I just want to kind of lay out what I know. Uh, American cheese, before about 1910 or so, was used to describe cheese made in America as opposed to cheese made in England. So if you see a recipe before 1910 that calls for American cheese, it's likely calling for a cheddar-like cheese. In 1910, James L. Kraft patented a new way to make American cheese. And I say a new way because the original process for making what is now American cheese was created in Switzerland as a way to reduce waste from the cheese making process and get more cheese out of it. So in 1910, he patented it. In 1916, he started marketing it and it quickly became known as American cheese. In fact, you can uh, go online, you can find a 1924 ad for Kraft American cheese. All right, let's get into it. All right, to cream butter, we add mint chopped mint, and chopped American cheese. Now we slowly add in vinegar for some reason. Now we put that on to bread. Okay, let's give this American cheese and mint sandwich a go. That's interesting. So here's the thing, mint is not my favorite flavor in the world. I don't mind it, I do like it. I like it in certain applications, like, uh, you know, thin mints. <laughs> but here it's just a hint of mint, if you will. Uh, and it's working pretty well with the American cheese, and the vinegar, it's almost like um, a snappy cheese with a little bit of mint. It's kind of refreshing. I do have an idea of how to plus this up though. Well, I gotta say the mint and the vinegar are kind of giving me chutney vibes, so I'm uh, gonna plus it up with a little curry powder. Okay, let's give this American cheese and mint sandwich plussed up with curry powder. A go. Sure enough, it works. Works well because of the um, mint and the vinegar. It's kind of offsetting it with warm spices and it's gonna get along with the American cheese. The American cheese is not very assertive. But it is bringing richness. That's pretty good. Okay, so the original American cheese and mint sandwich, clearly it's like a tea sandwich or something of that nature, maybe a snack. It was actually surprisingly good. And I'm not a, the biggest mint fan in the world. I thought it was really well done. And this recipe did actually give me amounts for one sandwich, which is such a refreshing change from having to scale it down from like 20 sandwiches. Um, but yeah, the American cheese was there to provide a little bit of richness. Uh, the vinegar brought a nice little tart tang to it. And the mint was just this nice little freshness. It was really quite good. As a tea or snack sandwich, I'm a little surprised, but I'm going to be giving that a seven. Plus up with the curry powder, that's a little eight. That is a tasty little bite. I would eat either one of these any time. And I did not think I would say that about the original sandwich because, you know, mint. All right, I'm going to finish that and probably have something else as well for lunch. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.